Hey, Ben Fish, 23rd January, 2018. This browser's just been sitting here on my desk open for two days now. And, you know, I just haven't been on here much. And so I just, I couldn't help but notice, you know, Elizabeth Warren Heritage Troubles Out. This woman is a senator from Massachusetts. And I lived there when she was running. I was involved with some, uh, some groups that had uh, privilege to a lot of information that the public isn't privy to. And I got the low down on this woman. Now, I'm not here to tell anybody that she is a cold-hearted, wicked woman or not. However, you got to remember, we are in a spiritual war in this world, okay? Now, I know she lied to get where she is. I know she did. And, you know, right off the bat, they use the image on Drudge where she's got her royal Phoenician purple on. We go to the article, Elizabeth Warren's Native American Problems. Of course, I will link this. And uh, she's got her scarlet on. And I know I keep saying it, but where do we see this? Oh, yes, the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. And it's not just women but women are playing a huge key part in what we're seeing going on in this world and that's all there is to it and and they're just trapped souls like all of us all of us are just snared into this wicked system this dual system this twin system and this is what manifests because this woman, regardless of her religious affiliation or what comes out of her mouth, works for a spirit of darkness. That's all there is to it. She's in the position she's in due to lying and manipulation. She absolutely loves... There's the friendly tone of purple there. That's the friendly tone saying, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. We keep going down here, and oh, there she is again in her royal purple. And she claimed to be a Cherokee Indian in order to get a very promising position at Harvard University. She lied blatantly. You can look into this stuff for yourself. And, of course, the media just sugarcoats it. The Cherokee Nation are demanding an apology and a re retraction from her. She refuses to give it. She continues to stick to a story that the reason she says she's an Indian is because her family used to tell her that when she was a kid. But if you look on all the other forms that she has filled out to various, you know, uh, whatever, institutions, she's white. It's right on her application, Caucasian. Why? Because she's just doing it for advantage. She's lying for advantage. She is part of the Purple Club. She loves her scarlet and purple. And I don't know her heart. But what, what's driving her in this world is wicked. Because they, they thrive for power and authority and wealth. This is just what they do. It's just the snares of this world. That's what they are. They snare us all. None of us are innocent from it. But these people... They worship it, okay? That's just as simple as that. You, I, I want to know a question. The same same day with this came out, this article, this is, this is the big four. These are the ones that everybody needs to really pay attention to to make the hardcore decisions on this shutdown situation. Look at these people right here, okay? Just look at them. Now, on, on an average day, if you look at the Republicans and Democrats like we have here on Drudge, your Democrat will have his blue, right? That's what they are. The Democrats are the blue team. And the Republicans are the red team. Rah, 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 rah. We're going we're gonna to get them. They're going to get us. we got to do what we got to do, so on and so forth. But in this particular very important meeting they had, every single solitary one of them is wearing purple. Every one. Nancy is fully adorned in her purple. Schumer's got his purple tie, obvious as can be. Even McConnell, the Republican, where's the red, Mitch? Oh, I decided to wear purple today. Oh, and he must have called his friend Ryan and said, Hey, what are you wearing today? Let's match. So he put his purple tie on. And, oh, 
Even President Trump has his purple tie on, and he's a Republican, right? See, that's blue. That suit is blue. That's purple. That's purple. That's purple. There are many, many shades of purple. Okay? But that's not it. The only reason I point this out is because it's a spirit. This is a spirit manifestation. That's all it is. And these people are succumbed to it because they lust for power. Whatever their intentions may be, this is how it manifests. This nice scarlet purple. Let's look at the purple family. What would you call their little hats that they wear? Their beetroot, maybe? Beetroot purple? Is that what that is? Their little silly little hats they all got on there? You know, I just have to point this out. This is a spirit here. There's no question about it. Look at this guy. This is very bizarre. This bearded guy right here. And he's got a crown, a pink crown of all triangles. And you can make all kinds of shapes and everything out of it. And look at these, look at these women. The future is still female. This is, this is wickedness in its purest form manifesting in the flesh right here. All around us. This war is on big time. And they're all involved. They're all involved. You know, the spiritual war is spilling out into the flesh world. And most people don't even know it. They believe what they believe because they don't turn to the word. They aren't reborn because if they were, they wouldn't be talking the way they talk. They wouldn't be acting the way they act. If any of these people were true believers, you'd know it because they'd let you know. Mr. Trump is probably the most, you know, uh, vocal about his religious beliefs yet i'm sorry folks he believes he has no sin to confess i i just don't see the fruit of this man i see him revealing wicked things i see him trying to do good and i believe that he is i don't know his heart okay but he is a member of the club his main priorities are wealth power and authority. That's all there is to it. Nobody's going to tell this man what to do. And that includes the Father in Heaven. In his view. Because he's doing no wrong. He's doing God's work. Just like George Washington was doing God's work. And look where it got us. We'll get into a history of America at some point. Because this whole country, this whole world, has been a deception from day one. And this, this here, this tells the whole story right here. So you got to get right with God. That's all I'm telling you. That's all I'm telling you. Saw this this morning, this unrefreshed drudge from two days ago. And I had to share that with you because you can't serve two masters. And that's what these people do. And that's what most of the world does. You got to get right with God, folks. You've got to seek Jesus. You must be washed in his blood. Or these troubles that are coming are just going to be... Whew, I don't even want to go there. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 